Well, hello there, folks. It's Real Honesty with John Rithlin. I'm John Rithlin, <clears throat> and this is a, another Impact Wrestling Brown Bag Special unboxing video, where if you guys watch my previous three videos, I ordered four Brown Bag Specials, unboxed them on one, and three on a separate order, and then did two T-shirt specials, where I got ten T-shirts for like 40 bucks. So, here we go. Um... This is a box that I got from them because I ordered seven at the same time. And yes, this box almost makes me feel jealous. Almost. I'm going to unbox some of this. I might actually do this in a second video. So we're going to see how long this goes. So here we go. Pretty excited about this. So let's just do this. And I mean, if you take a look at this, considering all that I got, 152.66 for all this. Not too bad, honestly. Oh boy. Look, folks, I got some wrapping paper. Hooray! Whatever. It's brown wrapping paper specials. And I got a bunch of brown bags. My god, I got all these. These are cool. I got like a few of these in my few of these in my you know, my closet. So who knows? I might give them to a couple friends. Who who knows? All right, so let's just start with this stuff. Ooh, it's a, it's a TNA wrestling beanie. I can't put this on right. Actually, I might, I might keep that. I actually like that. That's pretty cool. So let's just do this. And it looks like another... In fact, I actually am pretty certain about what these are. I think these are some banners. And I'm just going to get to this. I'll get to the DVDs here later, maybe in the next video. But let's see. Oh, yeah. It's a Jeff, Har it's a Jeff Hardy banner. Which I think I got from the previous one. But, you know, you're going you're gonna to get repeats, and it's cool. Because, hey, um, Impact Wrestling's cutting some really good deals. So, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to reverse this crap around here. This is the Jeff Hardy banner. Hope that came through okay. Um, personally, I think Jeff Hardy's kind of, um, kind of, he's, I don't want to say underachieved, but he probably should have done a whole lot better than he did. Um, at least he seems to be clean now and seems to be enjoying his time with his brother. And Impact, you need to stop being so petty with them as far as suing cable providers just because they're showing the Hardys, you don't own the Broken Hardy name. Matt Hardy came up with it, and by the way, as much as I love Impact Wrestling, I do hashtag fuck the owl. So, this is, I believe, an Angle Banner, and it is a Kirk Angel banner, and I like I like Angle. In fact, I might actually hang this one up in my room. I believe I already have one of these, but hell, I'll hang up another one. All right, more banners. Wow, I got a lot of banners here. Sheesh, my entire room is gonna be nothing but banners. I'm gonna need to get a lot of push pins. So, let's take a look at this. And, ooh, is this who I think it is? It is. The beautiful Tara, the beautiful Tara, aka Victoria from WWE. Absolutely beautiful woman, and the fact that she's in her um, early to mid 40s is baffling. And I only say that because she looks absolutely stunning. Looks just as good as she did when she first appeared on WWE TV sometime in the early 2000s. Actually, I think 99, 99, 2000, 2000 about. And let's see, I think this might be Gail Kim. It is Gail Kim. Gail Kim. Very talented wrestler. Very, very talented wrestler. Her and Robert Irvine are very happy together. You can tell that whenever they're talking. And hey, you know, it's really, really cool. I think they're all I think they're an awesome couple. Very, very awesome. This, I'm not sure about this one. Can't quite tell from these bags. Boy. My entire room's gonna be nothing but banners. Cool. It'd be nice though. Anyway, all right, and I believe this is Miss Rebel. I believe it is. No, wait, let me see. Huh? 
America, it is Rebel. Okay, I was going to say, I was like, it looks like Rebel. It is Rebel, the beautiful Rebel. Seems very nice to her fans, from all accounts of what I understood. She's very, very nice. So that's really, really cool. Happy to have a, happy to have a Rebel. A Rebel t-shirt and, or a banner. Oh, look, a Sting mask. No, I'm not going to do the same thing where... Ugh. Ow. Oof, boy. Well, I'm not going to try to do the whole show like that, because that hurt. That... Oh, ow. Man, how the hell did they put those masks on? I mean, I know his was face paint, but still. All right, that's pretty cool. And let's see. This, I believe, is a suicide mask. Um... Meaning, meaning suicide the wrestler, not not actual suicide. That would be terrible if they tried to do that. Um, yep, suicide mask. I'm not going to try to put that on, though, because I'm going to end up hurting myself. And let's get some more stuff here. An Eric Young beard. Um, I believe I got this. I believe I got this in one of the last brown bag specials I got, but, you know, they're probably... Let's see. God... That looks so silly. It wouldn't matter if it was for Impact or WWE or whatever. That's pretty silly. But hey, whatever. It's for fun. You gotta have some fun here. And a TNA camo hat. Ow. I really should have... Ow. I should have taken the uh, slack out of that thing first. Let me see. Much better. Much better. I look ridiculous. I look ridiculous with hats on. Anyway, let's dig into more of this stuff. Hmm, not really sure what this is. Let's find out. I think this is going to be more of a clothing-based one, honestly. Um, wow, a mask. The hell? Oh, it's a Tigre Uno mask. In fact, I think this is a kid's mask, though. Because unless this thing undoes anything, uh, huh. Where the hell am I supposed to put this thing on? Does it stretch? Oh. Oh, it un... Oh. It undoes. Oh, okay. Let me see. Can I get this over my head? Ow. Ow. I cannot. Ow. That hurt considerably. Well, whatever. Um, I'll try to put that on later. Ooh, that... Ow. Yeah, sorry for the crinkly noise. I'm trying not to make so much of that. And let's unwrap the rest of this stuff. This is, I don't know, this video will probably go in about 15 minutes. So let's see, is this a Jeff Hardy, a Jeff Hardy scarf? It's this, it's a Jeff Scarfy. Huh. Hmm. All right, hey, why not? Cool. Cool. Jeff Hardy scarf. Hashtag Jeff Hardy scarf. And let's see, an Impact Wrestling... Um, what? what the hell's this? A, it's a hologram thing? Huh. I wasn't, wow, you know, I thought I paid good attention to TNA products. I was not aware they did anything like this. Eh, oh, oh it's a wristband, I'm sorry. All right, if, whatever. Hey, cool, all good. Oh, look, t-shirts. And I got a bunch of DVDs that I'll actually talk about on a different show. But for now, in fact, I'm going to do my best to get this out of the way. Oh boy, folks. I mean, boy, a Dixie Carter action figure. It, it, it's plastic and fake, just like the real person. Um, look, I hate Dixie as a person, except you should have paid Jesse Sorensen's medical bills. What the hell were you doing? That, I'm sorry, that's, that's going into the... <laughs> that's going into the donation bin. And let's see... I believe these are some, these are some, some, whoa, God, oh, these are some, they're either Rebel sunglasses or Kurt Angle sunglasses, it's one of the two, I haven't figured out which one, um, let's see, wow, I should have planned this a little better, we've got a, uh, it looks like an Impact Wrestling drink bag, for all the booze, shout out to Atene Creative, hey, it's a booze bag for you guys, even though I don't know if it's that good. Um, even though I don't know if it's big enough for you guys, judging by what you talk about. This is... Mm, let's see. An Impact Wrestling necklace. 100% polyester made in China. Good job there. Um, 
Something called Bam Bams. Uh, apparently, it's uh, you're supposed to fully inflate the Bam Bams. That sounds inappropriate, and I'm not going to fully inflate the Bam Bams on camera. Thank you very much. That is gross. How dare you ask me to do that? So let's just get to some T-shirts here. Wow, that's a mount. Wow, that's a mound of T-shirts. Oh my God. Let's get the rest of the stuff so back. Let me get to the knickknack stuff here. This is a necklace. It looks like a Jeff Hardy necklace because you can see the little cross right there. And if it's not Jeff Hardy, it's somebody. Um, Aces and Eights keychain. I already have one of those, but I might attach another one so I don't lose my keys. This is a wallet, which I believe... I mean, I like wallets, but I like my security wallet better. And... Okay. Let me get to that. Some Jeff Hardy Impact Wrestling cards. That's pretty nice. All right. I like that. That's cool. All right. Let's go to the t-shirts here. Um, all right. Oh, boy. A wow, jeez. Okay, so they gave me this. A Make Impact Great Again t-shirt. You guys just made this and you're already giving them away in the brown bag specials? Did, did Anthem Bar to think this stuff through at all? I mean, my God. Insane. I mean, cool. I mean, you know, it's fine, except for the fact it's like Trump, and they're Trump supporters, and that's ridiculous. Here is a Jeff Hardy t-shirt. Um, with the many faces of Jeff Hardy, probably including Victory Road Jeff Hardy, the one that makes everyone sad. This was from 2012, but hey, cool, Jeff Hardy t-shirt. All right. And I believe this is another Jeff Hardy t-shirt. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that they're getting rid of the Jeff Hardy stuff. All right, what is this? Oh boy, a Lashley t-shirt with super, you know, super full screen stretched font. My God, that font is huge. Lashley, the destroyer on the back. I actually really, really like these, uh, really like these t-shirts. Um, Trouble just walked in, aka Trouble, 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 because it's EC3, baby. Wasn't sure that character would work. My God, I was wrong. I'm so happy I was wrong. EC3 is a great talent in TNA. And a... <laughs> and Ear an Earl Hepner t-shirt. By the way, Earl screwed Brett. Um, he didn't. Vince screwed Brett. But there's that. I mean, hey, cool. You know what? And uh, Earl Hepner does deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. And then... The Mr. Anderson t-shirt. One of my favorites. Pro wrestling is real. People are fake. That's really, really cool. All right, this is awesome t-shirts. Love it. Love it. And, oh boy, a, a beautiful people t-shirt. Yay. So, yeah, that's that's going to go in the donation bin. I'm sorry. Um, I hate the beautiful people as individuals. I just don't care because I'm not, I've never been a fan of their gimmick. I don't wish, I don't wish them harm, though. Here's a spud t-shirt. I like Rockstar Spud. I think Rockstar Spud is wishing that he was in the WWE UK tournament or on the UK brand instead of being whatever it is that he's being on the, uh, for Aaron Rex, a.k.a. Sandow. And let's see. Oh, Bobby Roode. Okay. It took a bit for me to recognize the format. Bobby Roode. Love Roode. Roode's awesome. He's great in Impact. And he's great in, um, he's great in NXT currently. More t-shirts. Huh. There we go. Hashtag stand up. Galloway speaks. Why did they feel the need to give Galloway a yellow shirt? I mean, it's like, look. Galloway is cool. He does not, I mean, I don't know. Yellow does not scream cool. Oh, boy, folks. Look. The dollhouse. Yay. It's playtime. What the fuck does that mean? Why would you play with the dollhouse? Actually, the dollhouse, I mean, talent was fine. Whatever. So let's see. Oh, boy. Hey, remember when King Mo was part of TNA when they did their whole thing with Bellator and King Mo got 
got my, why was King Mo on TV? I mean, it was clearly a spike call. It was not any good, and he was pretty lousy, and that's going to go in the donation bin, because sorry, he's just not that good. And this is actually the only repeat shirt out of anything that I got, and that's the EYT shirt. And it's really, really cool, so that's actually going to go in the donation bin. So that's where I'm going to leave that off. I'm actually going to unbox the DVDs here in a bit, and I'm going to, and then I'll have that video up, so... What do you guys think so far? Do you guys have any unboxing specials that you've done by ordering from Impact? Really good deal. You get five random DVDs, two random t-shirts, three random assorted items. Um, all for $19.99, I mean, plus tax. Like, for me, I got $152.66 for seven of those. That's pretty damn good, and I still got DVDs to unpack. Anyway, folks, like, share, comment, subscribe if you would like. It's been Real Aussie with John Ritland. I'm John Ritland, and I will see you soon.